They rescued survivors of Hurricane Katrina. Went literally from Afghanistan and rolled halfway around the world to Hurricane Katrina relief in about a 28-hour period. But combat search and rescue is their mission. Pilot TC worked the very first water rescue of the Iraq War. And that was the F-18 that went down in Lake uh, Karbala. The other one was the Marine 46 was flying down the Tigris River and it hit wires and it flipped over and went in the water. Who would have thought when we left for the war that we'd be doing water rescues in the desert? But the PJs trained for that stuff. PJs or pararescuemen like Mark. We do have dive missions going on in Iraq. Humvees in, into the canals, helicopter crashes in the canals. PJs and, uh, like Kyle. You know, people don't realize that, uh, you know, water is just one of those things that, you know, somebody's going to find their way into it and it's going to be bad. And, uh, you know, helicopters will go down in, in it. 30 seconds. In a C-130, the PJs tell me they train constantly based on these war realities. 50 knots, so we're good. You've got to make sure that no matter what the winds are, you're going to be able to get to the target or to the survivor that you're going after. Five seconds. Three lines, four. PJ Nate explains. All right, keep your eyes out for the boat. Roger that. As they deploy a hard duck, a fully inflated Zodiac raft. Errors as, as little as 5, 10, 15 degrees means that we don't make it, especially in the water. If we don't make it to the survivor, you know, we could be one, two, three hundred meters apart, and in the middle of a raging storm, you're never going to get to them. You know, that'll be the last time you saw them was when you got out of the airplane. At sea level, PJ Mark shows me how they handle a mass casualty situation. Rescue, rescue, Spider 7 1. When you're doing a water mission, because you're surrounded by something that could make things terribly, terribly wrong. From helicopters, the PJs drop bundles, boats, they'll assemble. They also use ARCs, advanced watercraft. Translation, suit up jet ski. Then, fast rope in. The scenario, 13 crewmen scattered in the water after their aircraft went down. Good. They gather the survivors. You pick up another guy, all right? Triage them. You're also, you're checking to make sure that they're, they're OK as far as physically. They're not injured, suffering from hypothermia. And, P.J. Kyle says, hoist them out according to the severity of their injuries. You might have to, uh, you know, restrain them just to keep them above the water. And as you can tell, the way the, when the wind's beating on you like that, it can get tough. In hostile territory, the P.J.'s also watch for threats. A lot of folks uh, experience that, uh, especially in Vietnam. You have a weapon on, on you, you have to. I guess you can shoot while you're hoisting. You know, that's a bad day if you're, you're having to shoot from the hoist. Then, my turn as a reporter embedded with the unit whose aircraft went down. PJ will make sure I'm not hurt. I was all jocked up and wetsuit and everything ready to go in, stabilize them, uh, get blood pressure, get um, IV lines and whatnot. We'll slow these guys in first. Yeah, we'll be secure in the back. While PJ's Kyle and Nate are on their way. Airspeed is 60 knots. Still searching. We brought around a helicopter with two PJs on it, uh, located her. Come into a hover over over the top of us, so then it gets real stormy. Um, that's that's a hurricane there for you. I'm gulping for air, but PJ Nate reassures. Because sometimes folks get a little bit combative in a situation like that, they get very desperate and they just start to fight you. So you, you have to be careful of how you handle the survivor. It helps too to tell them what's going to happen. You say, look, don't worry about it. It's gonna suck a little bit, but. I'll get you through it. PJ Kyle hoists me up. As we're going up, I'm just making sure that uh, you're uh, inside the uh, secure with the uh, device, that you're not slipping out, making sure that the, uh, the hoist cable isn't getting wrapped around us. So I'm trying to make sure that that's not getting wrapped around anybody's neck. The helicopter's drifting, it can get wrapped all around. And Stop right, hold your hover. Trying to make sure that uh, you know, you're not going to hit your head on the, uh, the underside of the aircraft. Their job doesn't end once we're in the helicopter. No, it's just the beginning. Now we have to figure out if there's anything wrong with you. And if there is, then we've got to fix it or at least stabilize it. It isn't just a drill. The next time you see this, we are just getting word in the CNN. Another Marine helicopter, CH-46, made an emergency landing in a lake in Al Anbar province. There were 16 on board. Think of them. Alex Quaid, CNN, Key West.